Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking another look at the Blue Eddy AC200P. What I'm really wanting to know on this little test is what is the true capacity of the battery bank that's uh, inside this unit. Um, it does say that it has a 2000 watt inverter and it also has a 2000 watt hour battery capacity. But what is the true capacity? Is it actually 2000 watt hours or is it less because of all of the conversions uh, between the DC and the AC? So let's go ahead and get those tests started. All right, and the first test I'm gonna do today is on the DC side. Uh, it will take several hours to actually do the test and then charge it back up. So this is going to be a multi-day event. But I've got the charging brick running right now just to make sure that this thing is at 100%, which you can see that it is. Okay, and now one thing, uh, you know, I've, I've watched the other videos and uh, they've, they've done capacity tests before. And I've always wondered like, what is their wiring sequence that they do? Because it took me a minute to get this, uh, this DC capacity test wiring uh, all working uh, to its fullest, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna show you what the wiring is for my DC capacity test. Now the little, the little unit I'm gonna use for the DC capacity test is just a small battery tester. Uh, you know, I'm only planning on pulling about eight amps out of the DC side. So that's why I chose this little small unit. And I just, I crimped on some, uh, they're like, they're ring terminals, but they're like little forks. So there's, they slide right in here. And then I have 10 gauge wire that I crimped onto an XT60 connector right here. Uh, because what I found is a, um, a, a cigarette lighter to XT60 adapter. So this, this, this is about as beefy as I could get when it comes to DC going into a cigarette lighter. Um, I'm sure that this wiring setup can pull uh, 10 amps no problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it at eight for this test. So let's go ahead and first turn on the DC side of the unit. Set these and make sure they're at zero. And when I plug this in, my tester should show, uh, you know, like around 13, 13 volts. So let's plug it in. And now, yep, the tester shows 13.5 volts. So that is definitely a regulated uh, output. Uh, and then once we start doing the, the actual test, it will drop down to like 12, you know, 12.5, 12.7, something like that. So let's go ahead and start the test. We're gonna go ahead and set it to uh, around eight amps. Do some fine tuning here. Okay, and on the blue eyed screen, you can see that we have a uh, discharge of about 107 to 108 watts. And now, like I said before, this test is going to take a while so we are going to see the results when it's all done and then we're going to charge it back up and do the AC side all right well I just got back downstairs and you can see that our uh, Blue Eddy AC 200p is turned off let's look at the capacity of the battery after you completely deplete it from a DC side and the capacity is 1600 and 69 watt hours. So actually, that is really close to 1,670 watt hours. All right, so if you divide 1,670 watt hours by 2,000 watt hours, you get 83.5% uh, efficiency, I guess you could say. So expect 83.5% of the total capacity if you're going to be plugging into the DC side of this power station. Now that that's done, we gotta charge this bad boy back up and do an AC test. So let me go ahead and charge it up and we will begin. Okay, our Blue Eddy AC 200P is uh, all charged up to 100% again. So let's go ahead and unplug it and turn on the AC side. AC on, our monitor turns on. And this is what we're gonna use to do the AC capacity test. 
So what we're gonna use is my little 200 watt heater here. And this should give us like a 0.1 C discharge rate, which is a little bit slower than what I need, but I wanna get this done tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and just turn on the heater. And the test has started. So I'll be back in a little bit. Um, and I say a little bit, as in probably around 10 hours. So uh, yeah, I'll just come back tomorrow morning and we'll see what our results are. Okay, I got back downstairs and I realized that the Blue Eddy is off again. Uh, we have absolutely no power because it is completely depleted from this AC test. So what we gotta do is unplug this, unplug the heater, and plug it into this orange cord here to turn this back on to see our results. Okay, let's see our results here. All right, and what we have is 1.779 kilowatts. So basically 1.78 kilowatts of capacity. So if we do a simple calculation, 1780 divided by 2000 equals 89%. So on the AC side of this uh, power station, you're gonna get an 89% uh, efficiency rate when it comes to the amount of power you're gonna get from this unit. Okay, so for the Blue Eddy AC200P, when you're looking at the efficiency of the AC side, you're looking at 89%, which is roughly 1,780 watt hours out of this 2,000 watt hour unit. Now, when it comes to the DC side, you're only getting 1,670 watt hours out of this 2,000 watt unit, which is about 83.5% efficiency rate. Now, you're probably wondering, how is it possible that the DC, which is direct current, has a less efficiency rate than the AC side? That doesn't make any sense. You would think that the AC side, you need to convert, you know, you need to convert that from DC to AC. Well, this unit doesn't run at 12 volts. So all these 12 volt plugins right here, they need to be stepped down quite a bit in order to get to 12 volts. Uh, the charger alone, the AC charger, it converts it so the input is 58.8 volts. So this is a pretty high voltage unit. So hopefully this video kind of shows you the true capacity of the uh, Blue Eddy AC200P. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have this unit and everything else I used to test this unit in the uh, description. Thanks again for watching this video and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.